Last year, we invested almost 20 billion RMB in the R&D only for the battery. That's why we come out a lot of uh, different products to the market. In February 2025, the world's largest battery maker quietly revealed something extraordinary. CL, known globally for powering Tesla, BMW, and dozens of other automakers, announced a sodium ion battery that could change everything we know about energy storage. For decades, lithium ion has ruled the world of batteries, from smartphones to electric cars, from home grids to satellites. It has been powerful, reliable, and efficient, but it has also been expensive, resource heavy, and environmentally demanding. Now that balance may be about to shift. CL's new sodium ion battery isn't just another upgrade. It represents a new era, one where energy can be stored cheaply, safely, and sustainably. For the first time, the chemistry behind our technology might truly align with the planet's needs. The price myth. When headlines began to spread about CL's sodium battery, many claimed it was 90% cheaper than lithium ion. That sounded too good to be true, and it was. The truth is more nuanced, yet revolutionary. CL confirmed that its new sodium battery currently costs about $19 per kilowatt hour at the cell level. For comparison, the most common lithium iron phosphate, or LFP, cells cost about $55 to $60 per kilowatt hour when purchased in bulk. That means sodium batteries are roughly 65% cheaper than today's LFP cells, not 90. But in the battery world, that is an enormous difference. CL also believes that as production scales, the cost could drop to as low as $10 per kilowatt hour in the next few years. If those numbers hold true, no other chemistry could compete on price. It would make electric vehicles dramatically more affordable, and it could make large-scale renewable energy storage accessible to every region in the world. But the real story is not just cost, it's about performance and longevity. The real breakthrough. Lithium batteries have always struggled with one critical limitation, lifespan. Even the best LFP packs today last around a million miles before degradation becomes noticeable. CL's new Naxtra Sodium Ion battery changes that completely. According to the company, these new cells can deliver up to 3.6 million miles, or 5.8 million kilometers, of driving while maintaining 85% of their original capacity. That's three to six times longer than the best lithium-based batteries available today. To put that in perspective, the average electric car might wear out mechanically long before this battery ever does. After the car's life ends, those same cells could easily be reused for home or grid storage, potentially lasting decades. This longevity doesn't just save money. It changes the economics of energy. A single installation could serve multiple generations without replacement, dramatically reducing waste and resource demand, energy density and power. For years, sodium ion batteries were seen as too heavy for electric vehicles. Their energy density, the amount of energy stored per kilogram, hovered around 120 to 140 watt hours per kilogram. That made them ideal for stationary storage, but impractical for cars. Now, CL's latest cells have reached 175 watt hours per kilogram, surpassing even BYD's Blade battery, which sits around 160. That milestone means sodium now rivals lithium in energy per weight, but at a fraction of the cost. The battery also performs in extreme conditions. It can operate from 40 degrees Celsius to plus 70 degrees C with minimal efficiency loss, cold starts, desert heat, or freezing mountain roads. The chemistry holds steady. And unlike lithium cells, it doesn't depend on rare materials like cobalt or nickel. Instead, it uses sodium, aluminum, and carbon, elements abundant almost everywhere on Earth. For engineers and automakers, that abundance translates to stability. No more volatile global markets for raw materials. No more dependence on a handful of lithium-rich nations. Energy independence becomes possible, not theoretical. The hybrid revolution. CL didn't stop with pure sodium chemistry. Alongside the Naxtra battery, the company introduced a clever hybrid design called Frivoid. 
This system combines sodium ion and lithium ion cells in one package. Sodium provides low-cost, stable power for most driving needs. Lithium adds higher energy density, where extra performance or range is required. The beauty of this approach is its practicality. Automakers don't need to rebuild entire factories. CL designed sodium cells that can be produced using existing LFP manufacturing lines with only minor adjustments. This makes scaling up production far faster and cheaper. In effect, any plant that currently produces lithium iron phosphate batteries could begin producing sodium ion versions within months, not years. That adaptability may be the secret weapon behind sodium's rapid rise, beyond electric cars. The implications reach far beyond vehicles. Sodium batteries like the Naxtra are ideal for renewable energy storage, from solar farms to microgrids. When a battery lasts three times longer and costs half as much, it transforms the entire energy economy. Solar energy is already the cheapest form of electricity on the planet, but storing that energy for night or cloudy days has always been expensive. With sodium ion storage, the cost barrier finally starts to crumble. Imagine entire cities powered day and night by solar panels and sodium batteries, systems that require almost no maintenance and can operate for half a century. The shift could make coal, oil, and even nuclear power seem outdated in comparison. This isn't science fiction. It's engineering, economics, and timing converging in one moment. CL's technology might be the missing piece that allows renewable energy to scale globally without compromise. The numbers that matter. While CL's $19 per kilowatt hour figure refers to the cell itself, full battery packs include more than just cells. Once you add casings, electronics, and cooling systems, the real world cost may reach around $40 to $45 per kilowatt hour, still far below today's market average. Even at that level, the advantage is clear. And if the company does achieve its long-term goal of $10 per kilowatt hour, the effect would ripple through every industry that relies on energy storage. Power grids, household batteries, transportation, telecommunications, all could see prices collapse and reliability rise. It's rare that a single technological leap offers so many benefits at once. Cheaper, cleaner, safer, and longer lasting. That's why researchers and investors are calling this one of the most important battery announcements in decades. A world without lithium dependence. The larger story behind CL's breakthrough is self-sufficiency. Lithium resources are heavily concentrated in a few countries, creating geopolitical pressure and unstable pricing. Sodium, on the other hand, is everywhere. It's in seawater, in common minerals, even in the soil. That means nations can produce their own batteries using local materials, reducing dependence on imports and cutting costs for transportation and mining. This shift could empower developing nations to build their own renewable grids without waiting for global supply chains to catch up. For the first time, clean energy independence could be within reach of billions. If lithium made electric cars possible, sodium might make energy equality possible. The industry watches closely. The global battery industry is now watching closely. Giants like BYD, LG, and Panasonic have begun exploring sodium ion technology, but none have matched the breakthroughs of CL's Naxtra line. Its biggest advantage lies in compatibility. Sodium cells can be produced on the same equipment used for lithium ion phosphate batteries. That means factories can pivot quickly without massive new investments. Once a few automakers adopt sodium packs, others will have no choice but to follow to stay competitive. Investors are already adjusting their strategies as the balance shifts. With lower costs, longer lifespans, and scalable manufacturing, sodium's rise isn't driven by marketing buzz. It's driven by economics. Within just a few years, we could see a sweeping industrial transition as manufacturers worldwide retool for the next generation of energy storage. The bigger picture. This breakthrough goes far beyond electric vehicles. It's about transforming how humanity stores and uses energy. When batteries become cheap, long-lasting, and widely available, everything changes. Our homes, industries, and even the way cities are planned. 
CL's sodium battery could make renewable power constant instead of conditional, freeing it from the limits of sunlight or weather. It offers a chance for developing nations to skip the fossil fuel stage entirely and move straight into clean energy independence. This isn't just evolution, it's energy liberation. If lithium defined the age of progress, sodium may define the age of permanence, an era where power is accessible, sustainable, and shared by all. Conclusion Every few decades, a technology appears that quietly rewrites the rules. In 2025, that moment might belong to sodium. CL's new battery costs less, lasts longer, and performs better across almost every measure. It can operate in brutal, cold, or extreme heat. It uses elements found in every corner of the planet, and it could outlive the cars, homes, or grids it powers. Historians may one day look back on this launch as the instant lithium's dominance began to fade, the moment when energy became truly democratic. The question now is simple. Will sodium replace lithium entirely, or will they coexist for a while longer? Whatever the answer, one thing is certain, the future of energy just changed forever.